Hey, what's going on? Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean or Mustang09 bringing you a brand new video. And today we're gonna be installing those isolator feet on my compressor tank that I've been talking about for like 20 videos now. But I wanted to show you something first so that we can get like an accurate idea of how loud these things really are before and after. So what I picked up is this right here. And this is a decibel reader. It sounds silly, it sounds cheesy, but it was like 15 bucks on Amazon and it had four and a half star reviews out of like 500 reviews, over 500 reviews. So I'm confident that this is gonna work. It's gonna tell us what we need to see. The first thing we need to do is get the car on some ramps so I can get underneath it to release the feet that are on there now. But while we do that, let's measure and see how loud the exhaust is with this. And what's really cool about it is if, you, I don't know if you can tell on here, but it says minimum max on this button right here. And what that does is if you press it once, it'll record the minimum. It'll record constantly, but it'll only show the minimum. And if you hit it twice, it'll hit max and it'll show you the max volume, but keep climbing if it goes louder than that. So on a cold start, this should get pretty loud, especially in the garage. So let's give it a shot. That's pretty sick, 109. Just to give you guys a reference of what 109 decibels is, because the odds of you knowing what decibel readings are, are probably slim to none, much like me. I had no idea, so I had to look them up. I am on industrialnoisecontrol.com, and it says at, there's no 109 specifically, but at 110, it sounds like a steel mill, an auto horn at one meter, a turbofan aircraft at takeoff power at 200 feet, a riveting machine, a live rock music. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty significantly loud. It says the average human pain threshold uh, 16 times, oh, so it says 110 decibels is the average human pain threshold, and it's 16 times as loud as 70 decibels. So that's, that's pretty loud, um, just to give you guys a reference. And that device only measures up to 130 decibels, which 130 says it's a military jet aircraft takeoff from aircraft carrier with afterburner at 50 feet. That is loud. So if we top that thing out, we're screaming, okay? <laughs> so now we have it up on the, on the ramps. I gotta get underneath there and undo the part. But first we need to trigger the compressor so we can see how loud it is. And I'm gonna get a certain feet away. I'll get to the beginning of the garage here so that it's a fair review from the time we do it to the before and after. That away, same distance. And we know that it's, it's equal, I think at least. We have you boys at the front of the garage and I have the trunk open and that's how we're gonna read this. That way it's fair. I'm not gonna move the camera, or it's on a tripod, so I won't move the tripod and I will hold this right in front of the camera. Keep it the same distance, trunk open, floor mats in, and we'll get a reading on how loud the compressor is. I saw but when it was close to the camera when I wasn't talking it was at 76.4 which is pretty loud and then I decided to walk it closer and put it right up next to the compressor and it peaked out at 98.5 so just to give you an idea of what 98.5 is 90 is a Boeing 737 or DC-9 aircraft at one nautical mile um, before landing it's also a power mower and a motorcycle at 25 feet 100 is a jet takeoff from 305 meters it's the use of an outboard motor or a power lawn mower, a motorcycle, a farm tractor, a jackhammer, or a garbage truck. So both very, very loud. I, man, it was crazy. And when I came back to show you the one from the trunk, I didn't want to talk because I didn't want to mess it up. I didn't want to dilute the, I don't know, our findings. This is very scientific right now. <laughs> Start off, you're gonna have four screws at the top. They're right here. And these go to the nuts underneath the car. In order to get to the nuts though, we're gonna to have to remove the heat, the EVAP shield. As you can see, there are the bottom of those feet for the compressor, two here and two under here. Hence why we have to take this off.
I don't know about you guys, but I love being underneath the car for work. It's so fun. All the screws are up and out. Pull these out of the way. Uh, you pull the compressor. If you're doing this after you ran the compressor, be careful because it does get really, really warm. Compressor's out. Now we can take these feet off. The good thing about airlift stuff is that their instructions are very, very clear. What we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize the screw washers and nuts to attach the compressor to these extensions. And then these extensions we'll use these feet for. In order to get the new screws through the bottom of the compressor, not only do you have to remove the long skinny black ones, you have to remove the rubber feet as well as the sleeves that they are attached to. Oh, and those come out really easy. It says use pliers, but they worked by hand. Pull off. And then push the bushing through. And they come out. Screw, washer, push through. And then washer and the locking nut. They're all on. So now we gotta go get the rubber feet and install those. We made a bit of a mistake, boys. If you look down below, this one is supposed to be turned around the other way based on the picture here. Fixed. Just one more reason why I really like airlift. They give you a diagram. And I'm gonna cut it out so that I can take over to the car and know exactly where I'm gonna need to drill holes if I need to drill new holes. Airlift wins once again. It covers up the exact same holes I already drilled. So my fear of having to drill four new holes is gone. Yes, Airlift, I love you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now let's put the rubber feet right there onto here. One thing I like to do if you're taking something apart, I don't know if you can see these right here, but uh, let me move this out of the way. So when you take something apart and it has multiple pieces, what I like to do is set out the parts the way they came off. So this comes together like this, set the screw, sleeve, spring, bushing. This goes in and then you can just reassemble the way you took it off. Okay, it looks like I will have to drill it out a little bit wider, but other than that, same four holes. So perfect. No way, they all went in that easy. They sure as heck did. Bam, bam, son. All four are through. One key thing, don't over torque these because it says you'll mess up the isolator feet. So five foot pounds of torque, um, not very much. Quick tip. Those are all in, we're gonna button up the EVAP system and then I will turn it on and we will do a sound test. All done. <laughs> Check what I just found out. I didn't even know they did this. Right up here, I don't know if you guys can see those orange marks. Right here, right here, right here, right here. That's from Texas Trackworks when they did my alignment. Props to you guys. That way we can know if there's any movement. So shout out to you guys. Thanks again for all the help. That's sick. I love how they go above and beyond. That's awesome. Oh, buttoned up down here, boys. Now we got to put the carpet liner in so we can get a fair test and set the camera back up on the tripod. That is way different. Boys, how awesome is that? 65.7 versus what it was before. I think it was 76.4 before. 60 on this scale is the conversation level in a restaurant. It's an office background music. It's an air conditioning unit from 100 feet away. So it's not nearly as loud as it was before, closer to 80, which is like a garbage disposal, a dishwasher, or like a factory. A huge difference. I'm very satisfied with this. One thing I wish I did differently for you guys was measure inside the cabin like I did on the outside. I think it would have just brought you guys a little more uh, retrospect as to what I was hearing inside, but it, it really on the outside is what bothered me when you go to car meets and you air it up and everybody can hear you coming from 100 cars away because you have this loud compressor in your trunk. And now it is so significantly quieter. It's just amazing, I love it. I, if you have, an airlift kit or any kind of air ride suspension and you have a compressor, try and put these dampening feet on there. The isolator feet, they are amazing. Uh, not getting paid to say this, the, the facts are right here, guys. That's why I did this, because I didn't want you to think that 
airlift gave him this part or he's sponsored by somebody not sponsored i paid hard cash for this my own money full price and installed it myself as you guys saw and bringing you guys the facts with the decibel reader so that's why i wanted to buy this thing and show you guys what's up it's real this stuff worked it's awesome two thumbs up highly recommend it and that's that i want to thank you boys so much for watching this video it was really cool to utilize this tool it's got a tripod mount on it too so maybe we can do some more fun stuff with it in the future measure the loudness of cars and maybe do a competition we'll measure them with this and you guys can try and see which one matches with whatever reading it has that'd be kind of cool keep an eye out guys we have the steering wheel install coming up soon like i talked about in my last video i wanted to leave this one just with this install so anybody that's interested on the kit can watch this video in its entirety and know that it's all about how these isolator feet work and how well they work and factual evidence with this it's not biased towards my opinion this thing tells you what's up so really really cool i'm going to leave a link in the description to the website where i was getting my information from regarding the decibel readings and the comparison that's the video boys if you like the video make sure to give me a thumbs up if you got something to say a question about the kit or something you want to get off your chest leave it in the comments down below and if you haven't already make sure to hit subscribe i appreciate that new videos mondays thursdays 4 30 central and we'll catch you back here next time take it easy boys mm -hmm.